Hello everyone, welcome back to University of Thrower. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Salesforce OAuth connection with Thrower. So for that, as a first step, you will be needing an connected app. To create a connected app, you will go to your Salesforce org. In your quick find box, you will type apps and then click on this app manager option. After that, you will click on this new connected app. In here, you'll fill all the required details. You'll fill in your connected app name as you can keep it, keep anything here, your contact email. And then after uh, entering all the required mandatory details, you'll check this checkbox, enable OAuth settings. And uh, to get the callback URL, you'll check this checkbox, enable for device flow. And here are some permissions which you need to give to your connected app so that we can create a Salesforce connection via connected app in Prover. So the permissions which are required, I have written here. So these are the four permissions which are required. First one is access the identity URL. Second one is manage user data via APIs. Third one is manage user data via web browsers. And last is perform request at any time. So you'll give this permissions one by one. First one is access the identity URL service. That is this one. Second one is manage user data via API. Manage user data via web browsers. And last one is perform the request at any time. This one. And after selecting all the permissions, you will click on the save button. It will prompt you that changes can take up to 10 minutes uh, to take effect. So you'll click on continue button. So as suggested by Salesforce that changes can take up to 10 minutes. So we'll wait for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes, we'll go to Prover. In connection tab, we'll click on this plus icon. We'll give connection name. We'll select connection type as Salesforce. Normal Salesforce connection. And in this radio button, we'll select this OAuth connection option. We'll get all these details in the connected app in Salesforce org. So this consumer key is this one. We'll copy it directly. Consumer secret is this one, copy. This is your callback URL. We'll copy it. After filling all the details, you'll click on this authorize button. You'll enter your username. And then password. And then you will allow all these uh, permissions, which is it is asking you. And once you have done that, it will generate access token and refresh token. Then you will test your connection by clicking on this test connection. As you can see, test connection is successful. Congratulations, you have successfully made your OAuth connection. Thank you for watching the video.